here is the anal canal this anal canal has uh, some sphincters on is the internal anal sphincter here we see the thickening of the circular muscle of the anal region this forms the internal anal sphincter from here up to here and the outer side there is another sphincter this is known as the external anal sphincter uh, here is the part of the external anal sphincter that is known as the subcutaneous part here is another part that is known as the superficial part and here is another part that is deep part so the anal sphincter on internal anal sphincter and external anal sphincter has three parts subcutaneous superficial and deep in between the subcutaneous part of the uh, external anal sphincter and the internal anal sphincter there is there is a line that is known as the inter sphincteric line this line continues inside the anal canal this is known as the white line or white line of hilton this is the white line it is in between the internal anal sphincter and the uh, and the subcutaneous part of the external anal sphincter and the external anal sphincter is under voluntary control this is controlled through the inferior rectal nerve and perineal branch of the fourth sacral nerve and uh, the uh, internal anal sphincter uh, occupies the upper uh, three fourth of the anal canal and the external anal sphincter occupies the whole length of the anal canal these are the uh, sphincters of the Uh, anal canal here we see the uh, anus and here is the external anal sphincter it is uh, the it is the separate muscle it has three parts here we see the view of the anal canal in diagrammatic picture here we see the internal anal sphincter up to this and here is the external anal sphincter subcutaneous part here is the superficial part here is the deep part and these three part are arranged in the body like this this is the deep part of the uh, external anal sphincter here is the superficial part and here is the subcutaneous part this uh, superficial part has a uh, attachment in the in the uh, coccyx to the perineal body uh, here is the superficial part of the external anal sphincter which is uh, seen here in the perineal region this is the external anal sphincter and here we see uh, there are two uh, things one is the one is the internal rectal venous plexus and here we see the external rectal venous plexus here we see uh, the section of anal canal here we see the internal rectal venous plexus from here the blood passes uh, inward in the and finally drain into the this vein this is the superior rectal vein and here is the here is the external rectal plexus 
here is the external ex rectal plexus and here from here the blood passes through the inferior rectal vessel inferior rectal vein this inferior rectal vein finally drains into the into the into the internal pudendal vein here is the internal pudendal vein and uh, this part they form the uh, middle rectal vein here is the middle rectal vein this middle rectal vein finally drains into the internal iliac vein these are the uh, venous uh, drainage of the rectum and uh, these uh, veins are important in clinically they form the hemorrhoid uh, this is the internal uh, rectal venous plexus and this is the external rectal venous plexus here we see that internal and external uh, venous plexus there is the communication between these two venous plexuses